Hello, welcome to the presentation for the Year 8 Pathways 2022-2023. Please listen carefully to this video for all the information you will need about the beginning of the Pathways process. During this presentation, you will hear from myself, Mrs Horridge, Mr McCabe and Mr Cartwright. Over the years, I've heard a lot of young people talking about the Pathways process and their talk often reminds me of a prayer inspired by the conversational style of Father David O'Malley. It goes like this, Lord, I'm at another crossroad. I've got to make some choices and I need guidance. Some of my friends know what they want to do, but I'm not so sure. Such a lot seems to ride on me making these decisions. Do my choices really affect my whole life? If I do a subject that I'm good at and enjoy, will I really do better than if I choose a subject just because my friends are doing it? Will it affect what college I go to, what university I get into, who I meet, where I live and what I do? Well, when life seems overwhelming, help me to remember that I'm not alone and that I can seek support from you and from so many people in school who want to help me. Help me to know that my value doesn't come from my GCSE certification or the amount of money that I earn, but the person I choose to be. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Amen. If you can identify with these questions, you'll be pleased to know that the options process is just that. It isn't an event, but it is a process that we have designed for a period of dedicated time supporting your child with decisions that will impact their future. This presentation explains the process and will also explain the next steps and how to find help as you explore what is right for you. There are three important ingredients in getting this process right. The first one is getting the right information, of which watching this video is a very good place to start. The second is seeking support from staff in school, from Mrs Horridge that guides the Pathways process, Mrs Hancock, our dedicated careers advisor, the senior leadership team and subject teachers. And the third is to chat with parents and carers and other adults in your life that will help you lead to a good choice of your own. As our students begin their pathways process, one thing we want them to consider is that they're planning for a future that is ever emerging in terms of technologies and the job market. As we watch this video about the automated bricklaying machine, we're considering technology that currently isn't on the market, but you never know what might happen in the future. When our students are choosing their options, we advise them to keep their curriculum as broad and balanced as possible. We'd like them to choose the subjects they enjoy, but also to consider that they might be preparing for a career that doesn't even exist yet. Keeping our students' curriculum broad and balanced is really important. It gives the students a wide range of skills in a wide number of subjects, so that for whatever future they decide is the most appropriate for them, they have transferable skills across the curriculum that they will be able to put into practice in whatever their chosen job is. It's also important to remember that a lot of our students won't have the same job throughout their lifetime. They may have a range of different jobs. Therefore, it's really important to make sure that our students are always ready with those transferable skills. This slide shows you the range of opportunities that might be available to your child as they progress into further education and beyond. The next stage that your child is progressing into is to study for GCSEs or equivalent qualifications up to the age of 16. Then they can move into further education, apprenticeships or training. And then beyond that, there are even more possibilities. This shows you why it's important to keep a wide range of options at this stage in your child's choices. Why else are these choices important? Research, Ofsted and the government all advise that the broad and balanced curriculum will be there to help get the most out of our students, to provide them with a wide range of qualifications to make them more suitable for a wide range of jobs once they leave education. It opens up the range of opportunities and helps them have that wide range of knowledge, skills and understanding across all aspects of what they are studying. 
At St Joseph's we have an aspirational curriculum where we strive to provide an education for our students to make sure that they are the best that they can be. At St Joseph's we have a long-standing history of students entering our school with high prior attainment. Therefore the pathways are designed to best suit all of our students. We aim to give all of our students the opportunity to develop themselves not just within the curriculum but with wider skills, to make them independent learners, to give them critical thinking skills and make them successful. Our curriculum doesn't just focus on the academic, it focuses on the aspiration of what our students would like to be once they leave St Joseph's and who they would like to leave St Joseph's as. We offer a wide range of GCSEs and equivalent subjects so that our pupils at St Joseph's can compete with the best across the borough and across the nation. The aspirational curriculum at St Joseph's challenges all of our learners to achieve their full potential, whatever their starting point may be. You will see as you delve deeper into the pathways process that there is a suite of subjects on a range of pathways to best suit each learner. At home we need to work together to challenge your child to reach that full potential in whatever they decide is most appropriate for them. Your child will follow a learning pathway, which is the experience your child will follow at St Joseph's. This will consist of a core curriculum and a choice of option subjects. Your child will select, with support and guidance from you and from school, subjects which best suit their interests, abilities and learning styles to help them maximise their future potential. All students will follow a core curriculum, which is made of RE, English Language and English Literature, Maths, Science and Core PE. Science as a GCSE on separate science is not considered at this stage. All students within the upper band of the curriculum will study towards the separate science curriculum in Year 9. Decisions about entry for combined science or separate science will then be made later in the course. Your child will choose between history and geography and whether to pursue an international language. The remainder of your curriculum will be made up of a choice of specialist subjects. Your child will be allocated a pathway which is appropriate to their aspirations and ability. Information has been sought from a range of sources in school such as from departments and your child's head of year about which pathway is most appropriate for your child. Please consider this carefully, but should you have any questions about the pathway your child has been placed on, please contact us in school. Here is a presentation of the subjects involved. On the left hand side we have the core curriculum, which every child will continue forward. Then we have the pathways curriculum. Shortly your child will be receiving a booklet which will go through each of these subjects. Please take the time to look carefully at the booklet and what information there is about each of these subjects. There are comments from students that currently study these courses. There are careers that typically these subjects can lead into. But there's also the composition of the course and the assessment arrangements. Look at which courses are all terminally examined at the end of year 11 and which have elements of coursework and consider carefully which of these would be in the best interest of your child. Look at subjects carefully that your child may have never studied before, such as business or health and social care. Look carefully into the subjects and what they are made up of. Make sure that if your child takes one of these subjects, they are fully aware of what the course is made up of. Look carefully at things like music. For music, your child will have to play a musical instrument or be able to sing to a high standard. OCR Sports Science does not involve any practical PE. So please just consider all of these things and look through the booklet carefully. Contact any of the subject teachers or heads of department if you have any further questions. And talk to the subject teachers that your child has at the moment when you talk to them at Year 8 Parents Evening. This is a list of considerations which might help inform your decisions when making your choices. We encourage students to follow subjects that they currently find interesting and that they currently enjoy. Historically, we find that when students pursue subjects that they are enjoying, they are more likely to do well. Look at your latest report. Look at which subjects you are progressing well in. 
I will now pass over to Mr Cartwright to give you some more information about where you can seek support and guidance when making these choices. There are many people at St Joseph's who can assist your child and yourselves through the whole process of Year 8 Pathways. First of all, your child's form tutor is there every single day at registration to offer any help, support, guidance and hopefully answer any questions your children or yourselves might have. I can also reinforce that as head of the year, so if your child does have any questions, they can come and see me as well. Mrs Hancock, who works at St Joseph's as our careers advice and guidance lead, has an enormous wealth of experience in terms of dealing with this stage of your child's education, the decisions process, and ultimately over the next three years as well, in guiding them and, and steering them to destinations for post-16. There will be one-to-one -one interviews held in the autumn term for your child, again, to help with this process. There are obviously the individual subject teachers who teach your children. They will be on hand to answer any questions about the specific subjects that your child potentially could be taking at GCSE level. In addition to the subject teachers, there's obviously the heads of department. They can provide specific bespoke information to do with the qualification at GCSE, whether it's to do with examinations and how much weighting of that qualification comes from examination assessment or non-examined assessment through coursework. Heads of department can offer that information as well. We also have the team of the senior leaders where we have the head teacher, the deputy head teachers, and the assistant head teachers who are on hand to guide your child through the process as well. In terms of support from home, from parents and carers, we would really encourage you to talk to your child about their future if you've not done so already. Please encourage your child to maximise their options, have a look at their strongest subjects areas, have a look at which options are the most beneficial for your child moving forward. Have a look at the booklet together. Please allocate time where feasible to sit down and go through the booklet to just really get that understanding of the process. What options are available? Which subjects are there? How are they going to be assessed? What does that course look like? Also, really important is to maximise attendance. The research is there. The evidence is there that when children are not in school and not learning, the impact that can have negatively on final outcomes and GCSE grades is key. So the more your child is obviously in school and learning, the more that actually suggests in a positive manner that outcomes should be more favourable for your child in three years time. We always ask you to support the revision even in year eight and in year nine, going through into year 10 and going into year 11, that revision is key. Organisation is such an important attribute. It always has been from the day that the pupils walked through the door in September 2019 in year seven. But as they will now be getting more diverse timetables and not necessarily in the same classes with all their their forms or their sets, where it's going to be in year nine when the process does kick in, a bit different, different teachers, different content of subjects. So please encourage that organisation, it is key. As always, ePraise is such a useful tool that parents and carers can monitor, whether it's tracking homework, tracking any kind of patterns with behaviour and attendance. Please keep an eye on ePraise and if there's any grey areas that you see there in any subject areas, please get in touch with that teacher or head of department and even myself and obviously we can work together for a better outcome. This slide gives you an overview of the key dates within the Pathways process. There is Year 8 Parents Evening on the 25th of January which many of you have already got appointments for. Please use this opportunity to discuss suitability for your child in particular subjects. During the week commencing the 13th of February, Pathways forms and the booklet with all the necessary information will be issued to students and brought home. During the week commencing the 28th of February, should you choose to, there are opportunities available for one-to-one -one interviews with a member of the senior leadership team. This is to discuss the personalised process for your child. 
February and into March are the Year 8 exam weeks, followed by the second report that will be issued to parents following the progress that your child has made through these exams. Again, use this for information when making decisions. The final deadline for Pathways forms to be handed in is Monday the 17th of April. Although it's not a first come first served, please make sure that you are promptly handing in your form at this date. Sometime in June, courses will be confirmed. However, if there is an issue between April and June, I will be in touch to make sure that these are resolved and your child has the most appropriate subjects for them. Although we can't guarantee that your child will receive all of their choices that they have put for first preferences, we do endeavour to make this as close as possible to each and every child's aspiration. Throughout this time, Mrs Hancock will be having interviews on a one-to-one -one basis with each of the students in Year 8.